Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your August 2022. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know for August, and then uh, we will see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. Uh, this could be in anything, nothing specific. So we're just going to see what the cards have to say. Okay, so uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this uh, message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, so if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. All right, over energies for Sagittarius. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect for August 2022? Like I said, Sag, this could mean anything, yeah? Uh, let's see what we have for you. Oh, wow like a whole bunch flew out okay so we have the six of swords the sun the nine of cups and a seven of swords here so what i'm feeling uh here sad here is i feel like you're moving towards your happiness okay uh it could be an energy that things are smooth sailing you know you guys are content happy with where you are and i feel like you guys might be like in this energy of like self-preservation trying to protect your energy here okay leo energy with the sun um so we have the six of swords the sun the nine of cups and the seven of swords here okay let's see what else we have two of pentacles and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces sagittarius i feel like a lot of you guys could be juggling a lot at the moment here too okay really really I feel like a lot of you guys are really in your emotions at, at, at this point um, uh, during this time. Re really just feeling emotionally fulfilled. Um, you know, some of you guys could be traveling. Yeah. I feel like that's keeping you guys really, really, really happy at the moment. Okay. There is something in the past here that you're trying to move, move past. Whatever this is, this was really disappointing to you. Okay, uh, this was, yeah, maybe there's something also in the past that you regret here too, that you're trying to move past. You know, this could be, you know, something from your childhood, okay? Um, there is that energy of definitely moving energies here or transcending here, okay? So I feel like you guys are experiencing bliss right now. So, but this energy, I feel like you're moving past right now, okay? Um, tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Pentacles, the Sun, the Hangman, Piscean energy. There's an energy of, I feel like you're, 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 you're being enlightened here, okay? You're being enlightened here. Um, there's a sense of finding balance here too, because we do have two sixes. Piscean energy with the hangman. You know, I feel like you guys are really tapped into yourself right now and really tapped into perhaps your intuition, to the divine, to the universe here. There's a sense of moving forward here, yeah. There is a sense of also taking a risk, taking a leap. Sort of like an energy of like, what's the worst that could happen on a journey that I'm on right now? Okay. So it seems like there's an energy of definitely over something, overcoming from uh, something in your past here. I mean, you have the devil here. Okay. So I feel like you're releasing energies or that you're moving energies here. 
Some of you guys could be healers yourself, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, the Fool card, Aries Energy, Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? And the Nine of Wands. Okay. There is the energy of sort of protecting yourself here. You know, I feel like you guys are really sort of like have really, 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 really strong boundaries. You know, not just with people, but also energetically. You know, uh, it, could, it could be a thing that some of you guys could, could, could talk to spirits or spirits come through to you. And I feel like you're keeping your boundaries with them too. Okay, so the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands here. The things are really, really balanced for you at this time, I feel, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck and the Death card and the Hermit. It seems like you guys are going through like a huge, sort of like a spiritual transformation here, a rebirth. There's an energy of sort of like leveling up from a king to an emperor here, okay? Uh, I'll come in advice here for Sagittarius. Uh, I'll come in advice here for uh, Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know for August 2022? What else does Sagittarius need to know for August 2022? What else does Sagittarius need to know here for August 2022? see what we have all right the five of cups and the emperor here okay it, it seems like there is some sort of regret some sort of disappointment that you're overcoming here seems uh, i don't know i feel like some of you guys might be doing some sort of ancestral work here too could be clearing out you know generational ancestral karma it could be you know clearing out imprints you know so past life stuff past life imprints even though it's not showing here, that's the energy that I'm, that I'm getting from this read. Okay? Aries energy here. Two of Swords and the Hierophant. Taurus energy with the Hierophant right there. And the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Two of Swords and the Hierophant. Now, perhaps at some point you were confused, but I feel like you might be get, getting the clarity that you're looking for here. And I feel like a lot of these messages are coming from the universe, the divine, perhaps from other realms here too. I do feel like some of you guys might be like, like a spiritual advisor or something like that. You know, it could be a guru, you know, perhaps a shaman or something like that. It just feels like a whole ton of energy is being moved. Uh, the... Knight of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. Seems like you guys are getting the emotional clarity that you're looking for. Uh, some of you guys might do like spiritual artwork. Some sort of healing artwork here. Okay. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Five of Cups here. Wow. The Two of Cups. Tell me about the Emperor here. And the Six of Wands. Okay. There is a relationship here that you're overcoming or that there's, you know, there's some sort of disappointment surrounding a relationship that you're letting go. Yeah, something didn't work out, work out here. And I feel like there's energy, uh, you know, knowing that was the best or that it was meant to happen that way. Uh, yeah, there was, a, it seems like there was a relationship that was unsuccessful here that you're moving past. Uh, two of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant. <clears throat> Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be healing the inner child right now. Yeah, perhaps you are working with someone spiritual to transmute a lot of these energies here. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Could be something ancestral that you're working past here too, um, uh, Sagittarius, I feel. Okay? Tell me, yeah, it could be karmic. I mean, we have the Justice card here. And also the Ace of Wands. I don't know. I feel like... I, I also feel like uh, karma 
you're clearing out karma here. That's so interesting because the fool card, this fool card has a wheel here too. Yeah. So I feel like there's a new beginning that's happening here for you. Okay, something's being illuminated where things were hidden here at some point. Could be, yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be doing shadow work here. Okay, you know, I feel like you guys are, you know, sort of finding your independence and your freedom here. Okay, um, you know, being self-sufficient. Yeah, it seems like there's something regarding a past situation here that you're letting go. Or that there's this huge shift that's happening where things are being moved here. It, it just seems like the universe could be stepping in to help you or that you're taking that support from the universe, okay? And the, and the divine here. All right, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.